Hey guys, how's it going? Got a Reaper tip for you in under five minutes. If you have recently converted over to Reaper from another door, uh, like I have, is using GarageBand for voiceover and radio production type work, and just jumped in boots and all. So had a great time, still having a great time, and really wanted to, to extend my boundaries and have found this to be a great program to do so. What I didn't know with my boots and all approach was what was going on in the background. And when it came to doing a little bit of tidy up and looking at projects, I was like, eee, yikes. So what I found was if you find your Reaper media folder inside there, because it was the only one that I was using, uh, all the data from each project is getting dropped into there. And of course, there's no way of really separating it out what there actually is. So now that I'm starting to do that and pulling these all into each individual category for each artist that I'm working for, uh, in this case, I've got a Craig tube folder, so we'll go and open up one of Craig's folders. Um, actually, we'll do it this way. Uh, and we'll find out exactly where everything is and pull it all together and just do a little bit of tidying up in the background. So if we go to that Reaper Media folder again, and what we'll do here is we'll go down to Keg Rock. We'll open that one up. And inside of this, obviously, is all the files from that particular folder so what we want to do is consolidate all of those and for some reason it wants to search and find them all there we go so what I want to do is go up to your file menu go down to save project as okay now what you want to do is create a just a new folder like in this case which I've done for CraigTube so all the CraigTube work I want to go into there okay so what I want to do is click on that move all media into project directory that little checkbox there so that now I want to get all that data from that Reaper media folder and into a new folder so in this case I actually want to create another subfolder inside the CraigTube one and we'll call it Keg Rock so we know which project that we're dealing with create that and go save so now all of that if we go to CraigTube and we look up Keg Rock Everything has been moved from that directory here, which was the Reaper Media folder, and into the new project folder, which is great. Now what I've been doing, I'm not sure if this step is absolutely necessary, but just to make sure that everything's done, done the right way, I've just been closing that existing project that we just opened and moved, go to the new folder, and open it up again. Now here is where I want to trim all the data out of this folder that I don't need. So sometimes I'm dragging in... Um, a larger file into a smaller well into the project and only want a small portion of it so what I want to do is trim out all the stuff that I don't need that's actually taking up valuable hard drive space so again what I'll do is I'll go save project as this time I'll uncheck the box that says move all media into project directory and click the one that says copy all media into project directory you can also go click the convert media and I've just left it at the default which is wave 16 bit now any mp3 files that you bring in will be obviously up converted to WAV files as well. And then go trim media tail size to 500 milliseconds. So again what I want to do is go CraigTube, create that new subfolder again. I'll just call this one Keg Rock New Trim, create that and push save. So now we've got two copies of the same project. And it'll be evident why in a second. So what I want to do is just get an idea of what kind of data we've saved. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. So get info. That's 4.3 megabytes was the original folder. Go to the second one that we just created, the trimmed one. And in this case, it's actually gone up a couple of megabytes, probably because we converted some MP3 files into WAV files. Okay, see there were MP3 in the first one and have been created as WAV files. So in some bigger projects, uh, you might find actually when you're using totally WAV files that that will actually trim down and I've had some of them trim down quite a lot. Okay, so now what you can do is go back to that one, the original one that we made, the very first one, you can just delete the whole thing. If you really want to, you can go back and check that folder and just close this project and you can check the new one that you've made and play through and make sure you've got everything there that you want. In some cases what you can do is you can drag that one of the files in the in the uh, project and you can just see that it repeats itself so it's no longer that full file that it was just trimmed down so hopefully that helps you guys 
if you want to do some tidying up, we've got any other questions, just give me a holler and I'll see if I can help on that one. Plan to do a few more videos on Reaper and just some of the cool stuff that I've found. Some of it by just stumbling across things and some of it just by digging deep and trying to find out what's the best way to get the most out of this Reaper. It's a great program, give it a try and happy production.